This time on Pedalbox, we're finishing the engine cover and making it hinge and lift automatically with a nice, luxurious gas ram. As you can see, we've done some work since episode 95. If you haven't seen that, do go back and watch building up the main part of the framework, all of the edges, the bracing, and how this whole thing went together. Since then, we've added in a few more bracing pieces, which I mentioned at the end of episode 95, just to triangulate it. So this now has absolutely no lateral flex at all, which is really, really good. So this should work nicely once we actually put the skin over the top of the whole thing. Don't forget you can support us at patreon.com slash pedalboxshow and join us on our Discord server at every level. Now before we can actually put the skin on this, we've got the aluminium, which is really good news. Um, we need to do a couple of other bits and pieces, and chiefly among those is a hinge that I want to try and build into the top corner at each side, so that this will open up like this to probably about the 60-ish degree mark. We don't need it too much higher than that, but we definitely need it so that it will come up. And it also has to be easy enough to remove the whole thing, so just two bolts ideally, and the whole thing will lift off if we need full access into the engine, or when we're taking the engine out, we need to be able to get the crane in without hitting this with the boom. So this is the first incarnation of the hinge, and you might look at these and go, but Adrian, these look like a couple of bits of scrap that you got out of the scrap box and hastily threw some tack welds on. And you'd be exactly right, because these are some pieces of scrap from the scrap box. This is just some inch by inch angle iron with a little plate tacked on the end, and this is just some three millimeter plate. Now the plan for this is it's gonna tuck in on the left side, and obviously this one will go in on the right side, like that. And then the plate will mount onto the side there. Now I'm not entirely sure what angle this is going to have to sit at in order to attach onto the framework. That's why we need to do this before we put the skin on because doing this from underneath would be an absolute nightmare. The plan is to cut a notch out of this so it'll go around the top edge of the car uh, where the roof line is and this will pivot up and this will lift the body, uh, the, the panel away from the body and up and around and nothing should interfere. So we get the holes drilled in this and then try and mock them up and see exactly what motion we get out of it. We probably could have done this in some CAD program, but we didn't. Check out shop.pedalbox.show where you can help support the channel by buying some cool merch, including t-shirts, hats, and more. This is where we started for the arm portion of the hinge, which will connect onto the framework that comes across the back of the car. And what we very, very quickly established was that this was nowhere near long enough. We almost need something twice as long. So these got put to one side, and instead we raided the scrap bin once again, and we made this. And this is ugly. But this is a piece of 3 mil plate that we've basically nibbled more and more out to work out how big this throat needed to be. We've also pushed, from where originally it was, pushed the hinge point much, much further back. So you can see how much swing this gives us around a fixed point approximately here. Works really nicely. This we welded on, we tacked it on just to represent the very outside edge of the um, framework that sits on the back. So that was a prototype and that took, as ugly as it is, the better part of an hour and a half. This took nearly 10 minutes and this is some flat bar stock which we've welded onto an elongated uh, corner piece, so exactly the same hinge as that one, but we've elongated it forward and triangulated it so it's really nice and strong in the centre. And this longer throw here will give us all of the clearance that we need. So we can recess the hinge back further and then this will push all the way around and lift the whole thing up and away so it's not going to clash into the top piece of the bodywork here. So we're going to weld this up properly, get this all joined up and nice and solid, make another one and then we'll look at getting this onto the car.
Well, as you saw, successful evening there. We've got our engine bay cover in and it hinges quite nicely. So that's all good. The only issue that we've got is that at the top here, it does get quite close to hitting the bodywork as it comes fully open. So we've got to put a couple of little stops in. So we're going to put these on the hinges. And as the arms here come up, they're just going to get caught in the bottoms of these. So we're going to weld those up in a second. And we feel like spoiling ourselves a little bit. We don't have many mod cons on this car, but one thing we are going to treat ourselves to is a gas strut to hold the whole cover open. So we've got one end of it is this end has a through bolt fitting that we're just going to put on the body somewhere in there. I can't remember. Aid knows. And the other end we're going to put onto a little pin on the bonnet cover. So it's going to open up and hopefully hold itself in place. I don't know what this has taken off. I suspect this is off the A3's boots. It's probably way stronger than we need it to be. So we've got to give it quite a lot of lever to work against, but I'm pretty sure we can figure it out. Perfect. Works first time, every time. It's genuinely amazing. Aid and I are both absolutely delighted right now. We've been doing jumping jacks off camera. We haven't had to mess with the geometry or anything. We've put it all in, welded it all up, and somehow it just does exactly what we need it to. The only issue it has, and it's really, really, really minor, is because the gas ram is running kind of outboard of the car a little bit, sort of pushing it across. When we close it, we do have to just tweak it toward the driver's side a little bit for it to settle so when we put the second one in on this side as well it'll be absolutely immaculate but for now this is more than good enough it does all the things you want a gas ram to do it stops at the right height it yields somewhere near the bottom so it's not always acting against your catches or latch or whatever's there it's it's mint and i'm going to say that a lot because i love it here in front of me, we've got that big sheet of aluminium that you just saw us measuring up. Now, we really don't want to waste another £40 piece. So this time, we've measured it all up three times, checked it against the frame on both sides, and still given ourselves an extra few inches of material, just in case we've been idiots, because, you know, that's not unprecedented. Now, finally, it is just about time to start cutting this to shape, bending it over our frame here, and actually building something that's going to look like a proper engine bay cover. We spent a long time trying to work out how to attach this sheet onto the framework at the front and the back. The flanges are, that it wraps around aren't big enough to put any fastenings through without them being visible on the outside of the car. So to make this work we're just folding them over gradually, bending it around and tightening it across the top of the skin before we fold the sides down. That way we can put pop rivets through the edges, but we don't have to put pop rivets at the top and the bottom, and we can just leave those, trim them down, and it should work and hold everything in really, really nicely. Well, I'll be honest with you. We were a little bit cold, and I think Aid's more I'm than a, a little lot, bit damp. I'm a lot cold, and I've been sat on a wet bench. I can't feel my toes, I can't feel my fingers, but if I'm honest, it's definitely been worth it. Yeah, because we've just made this. Because this is awesome. Yeah, I am really pleased with how this has come out. Um, once I got the frame built, I was kind of happy what it was going to look like, but Honestly, I have been concerned about what this is going to look like, especially rounding these edges over on the aluminium. I did not know how that was going to go, and I'm really happy we've managed to make it work. What we did in the end was just rolled this over, as you saw, under this edge, and then rolled this side and pop riveted all down the two sides. But the front and back actually hold perfectly as is, which I'm really, really pleased about. So there's a little bit of TLC needed, a couple of spots where clamps have made some little dents, so it's definitely not going to be just perfect fact as is a little bit of bondo going to be required to uh, to make this look absolutely right but functionally this is the bomb now the only thing left to finish this off is well a window but functionally we need to get another gas ram because this one's still pushing it slightly to the side and it doesn't drop down perfectly as I'd like it to so we get a second one of those in and she's good Yep, and if you want to help us pay for that, you can jump on patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show and support us there from as little as a dollar a month. And if you want to buy some merch, like these hats, which have been keeping my head really nice, my head's lovely and warm at the moment, as well as t-shirts, hoodies, all sorts of good stuff like that, you can go to shop.pedalbox.show. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. We will be putting out more videos like this. We'll be getting to episode 100 soon, and maybe we'll have all of the bodywork done. It's definitely not going to be finished, but there's only a few more panels at the front to put on, 
and then like the whole body's finished. So that's your target milestone for episode 100. Yeah. Mine is I want to see the rover on the on the show again. Yes. If we can get the rover back in, that would be nice, and also put all those ancillaries back on the Thunderbird as well, and maybe get a carb. Should probably oh, yeah. look into that. Should we just try and get the moon on a stick by episode 100 as well? Shall yeah. we? <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. But we'll see what we manage. We'll see what we manage to get through. If you have enjoyed, do leave a like, comment. Make sure you've subscribed, as I've said, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.